Other news tonight, a call for possible legal action after almost a dozen automated vehicles clogged city streets. San Francisco Board of Supervisors uh, Supervisor Aaron Peskin said uh, Friday night's incident in North Beach is just the latest problem involving driverless cars. As Crown Forest Teresa Stasio reports for us tonight, Supervisor Peskin says expansion plans must come to a halt before the situation becomes dangerous. It was an alarming scene, but one San Francisco official says is becoming too common. And that really calls into question whether there is a fundamental systemic uh, defect that is dangerous. San Francisco Supervisor and Board President Aaron Peskin says he is working with the city attorney's office while calling on federal state regulators to step in before something dangerous does happen. Cron4 News obtained documents showing five separate cases where AVs blocked emergency vehicles just last week. Supervisor Peskin says that is on top of 50 other documented cases. I mean, if what we are learning is that when cell phones are not operative, they cannot remotely assist their cars, uh, that, that's the kind of instance that can happen in a disaster, whether it's a Lahaina-type disaster or a Loma Prieta earthquake disaster when you lose cell phone service. That's the precise moment at which San Francisco would be needing to deploy emergency apparatus, fire trucks, ambulances. Peskin says he's deeply worried as the California Public Utilities Commission last Thursday granted a broad expansion of AVs. This is a impressive new technology. We don't think we're going to put the genie back in the bottle, but we want it to be rolled out in a way that's safe for San Francisco and San Franciscans. A cruise company spokesperson says that they are continuing to investigate last Friday's bottleneck and didn't respond about steps to curtail expansion or legal steps to slow the roll of these AVs. Teresa Stasio, Crown 4 News.